Look at you. Or maybe it's better you don't. Life's moving fast and you just aren't keeping up. You got married, had a kid, worked a soul-crushing office job, then gracefully moved on. You started your dream company making picnic tables for squirrels. People said you were nuts, but now business is booming. You're living the dream, partner. But these days you're so busy, you forget to eat. And I hope you're not hungry, because you're out of diapers, and you're on diaper duty. <laughs> duty. Start the car, hit the gas, drive to the store, grab the diapers. Grab a gas, turn around, get out, fill your tank, get in, ride back home. Midnight. Your wife asks you to pick up groceries tomorrow. You say okay, then pass out. Wake up, new day, get up, coffee, phone call, take it, send it, email, sales, progress, errors, problems, numbers, math, spreadsheets, coffee, budgets, cry, hungry, toast, pickles, mustard, and a banana. Sales, money, spreadsheets, budgets. Ah! Nice work. You deserve a break. Your wife gets home. She's amazing. Holy shit. Nothing could ruin this moment. Oh, mate, the groceries. Come on, you're blowing it. <sighs> You've been stuck inside all day. You didn't realize it's such a nice day out. Could it be? Time for a bike ride? Uh-oh, uh she caught you fantasizing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Riding your bike feels good. It clears your mind and gets your body moving. But you forgot about your arch nemesis, this godforsaken hill. Come on now, jello legs. Suddenly you get passed by a cyclist and they don't seem to be having any trouble at all. What is this wizardry? Is that a motor? You've seen something like this before. It was in that magazine. It's a bicycle and the pedaling is assisted by electricity. Each time you pedal, your energy is tripled. It's like you're magically stronger. No gas, no throttle, just go. Well, time to buy an e-bike. Buy an e-bike off a guy online and bring it home. It's time to charge your brand new... Ah, crap, it's on fire. Didn't you learn last time? Relearn that not all bikes are created equal. Go out and buy a proper e-bike. Talk to an expert who knows their stuff. They tell you that these bikes are the future and that these things rip. Plus, mine changed my life. I even sold my car, man. You're in. You'll take it. They say, oh, I don't work here. I just love these things. So do you want to hang out? That was odd, but you buy it anyways. And this time your e-bike doesn't explode in flames. You feel incredible, like you could ride forever. Not this time, you filthy urban mountain. Go farther, faster. You're almost home, but you're not ready to go home. You just figured out what this thing can do. Start noticing things you've never seen before, like that nice house and that guy mowing the lawn in his underwear. This is great, but your family's missing out. Guess it's time to build more picnic tables. Chuck them in a box. Tape them up. Come on. Uh, stubborn tape. There we go. Nailed it. Buy another e-bike. And family time gets a whole lot better. But wait, there's more. You just received your biggest order ever. Every day you battle to run errands. Aw, oh, yes, baby. It's time for a bike ride. Leaving the house is no longer a chore, it's an experience. There's nothing that can hold you back anymore. This is you going full carpe diem. The next morning you receive a call with bad news. Your biggest order of the year fell through. Sometimes life deals you a bad hand. But you just gotta get back on the horse and make lemonade. Or, I don't know, metaphors are hard when you're sad. Go for a ride to clear your head. Come across a path you've never seen before. Take a moment to reset and realize that this is just a bump in the road on your journey. You just gotta keep moving forward, mate. But first, take care of that family of yours.
Okay. Mm -hmm. 